Out here, the roar of 4,500 horsepower doesn't bounce off factory walls. It rolls across the desert like thunder. Behind the steel are the people. It takes a small army of experts to keep the world's largest hydraulic shovel fighting. Awakening the giant requires fluids. 15,000 liters of diesel and 10,000 liters of hydraulic oil are pumped aboard. Welcome to the birthplace of the 6090 FS, the largest hydraulic mining shovel ever built. It starts with specialized heavy gate steel destined to become the backbone of the beast. The secret weapon, tri-power, a unique triangular linkage that amplifies crowding force without using extra energy. Steel this thick laughs at standard cutters. Only high-pressure oxy-fuel torches can slice through the armor plate. Where stress is highest, welding isn't enough. Solid cast steel nodes form the unbreakable joints of the skeleton. Laser projection mapping ensures that every stiffener and bracket is placed with millimeter accuracy. Deep penetration welding requires preparation. Edges are machined to precise angles to allow the weld to reach the core. The car body, the central structural spine that will support the entire 1,000 ton superstructure. Cold steel cracks. We preheat the massive plates to 150 degrees Celsius to ensure the welds bond permanently. Submerged arc welding. The arc burns beneath a layer of flux, laying down deep, flawless beads of molten steel. A synchronized dance of heavy lifting. Two cranes flip the chassis to expose the underbelly for final welding. Clear the area. The swing bearing. A five meter steel halo that allows the thousand ton the marriage. The revolving frame meets the track chassis, uniting the mobility base with the power deck. The crawler frames are box section girders, reinforced internally to survive the twisting forces of a moving mountain. Stress cracks are gouged out and filled with fresh steel. We don't just patch it, we restore the metallurgical soul of the structure. The heart needs blood. A 10,000 liter hydraulic reservoir built to hospital grade cleanliness standards. Heavy duty non-slip plating covers the upper deck, creating the workspace for the power modules. It's time for a complete rebirth. To move a mountain, you need the heart of a Titan, or in this case, two twin down slope. Precision is paramount. The power modules are lowered into the chassis with only millimeters to spare. Raw torque to a bank of high-pressure hydraulic pumps. Power generates heat. A massive cooling array, the size of a billboard, keeps the twin giants running cool. When these engines roar, they will breathe freely into the open sky. The main boom. A twin girder spine designed to lift 50 tons of rock every third seconds, all day, every day. The tri-power linkage. This geometry generates constant crowding force throughout the entire lifting arc. The stick. Short, thick, and incredibly dense. It transfers the breakout force directly to the bucket teeth. The stick. Short, thick, and incredibly dense. It transfers the breakout force directly to the bucket teeth. The jaw begins to take shape. Sacrificial armor. We weld on layers of hardened steel called wear packages to take the punishment so the bucket structure doesn't have to. Ground engaging tools. These hardened steel teeth are the spear tip, the clamshell mechanism. A massive hinge allows the bucket to split open, dumping 50 tons of rock instantly. The business end gets a coat of black, not for style, but a heavy duty sealant to protect the steel during transport. Laid out, the attachment arm stretches longer than a blue whale. The skeleton is complete. Cryogenic shrinking. We freeze the bronze bushings in liquid nitrogen, shrinking them just enough to slide into the steel bore. As it thaws, it expands. An interference fit that welds the bronze to the steel without a single drop of glue. The geometry of power. 
The tri-power linkage is assembled, a mechanical lever designed to multiply the digging force. Muscles of the beast. Hydraulic cylinders, polished to a mirror finish, capable of exerting 2,000 tons of breakout force. Three kilometers of high-pressure hose form the circulatory system, delivering oil to every joint and motor. The main control valve. It directs the flow of 10,000 liters of fluid with the precision of a Swiss watch. Mounting the boom cylinders. Align it! These steel pistons will lift the weight of the boom, the bucket, and 90 tons of rock. Contamination is the enemy. We scrub the oil to a cleanliness level higher than the blood in your veins. Five miles of wiring harness. This network carries the signals that translate the pilot's touch into earth-moving action. The command center, soundproofed, climate-controlled, and suspended on liquid-filled mounts to isolate the operator from the violence outside. The command center, soundproofed, climate-controlled, the head is placed. From this vantage point, three stories up, the operator commands the entire quarry. Lines don't sleep. Stadium-grade LED lighting turns the darkest pit into high noon. The shoes, cast steel pads, two meters wide, linked together to form the floating foundation of the giant. The loop is closed. The master pin is pressed home, sealing the track that will carry a million kilograms. Access is key. A labyrinth of catwalks and stairs allows technicians to reach every service point safely. The heart starts beating. 3,200 liters of displacement roar to life. First breath. The twin stacks exhale, signaling that the beast... The brain wakes up. Millions of lines of code run a self-diagnostic in seconds, giving the green light. Pressure builds. The circulatory system stiffens with 350 bar of hydraulic force. It moves. The first command is sent, and 1,000 tons of steel obey instantly. Too big for any road. To leave the factory, the giant must be broken down into 25 modular loads. Salt water is a killer. Critical components are hermetically sealed in heavy-duty shrink wrap for the ocean voyage. The convoy rolls out under the cover of darkness, a fleet of superloads moving the scattered pieces of the king. From road to sea, the components are loaded into the belly of a heavy lift vessel for a journey across the equator. Destination, the Pilbara, a landscape of iron red dust and punishing heat where the giant will be reborn. The laydown yard. Here, amidst the dust and flies, a field team of 20 technicians will resurrect the machine. The seal is broken. The components emerge pristine, ready for the final permanent assembly. The foundation is laid first. Massive high tensile bolts unite the track frames, torqued to spellifications that would crush a normal bolt. The deck lift, two cranes, one mind. The upper works are lowered onto the pivot point. The final link. The 52 cubic meter bucket is pinned to the stick. The arm is complete. Awakening the giant requires fluids. 15,000 liters of diesel and 10,000 liters of hydraulic oil are pumped aboard. Hard over the engines, ready to flood the bay at the first sign of flame. The auto lube system. An automated heart that pumps grease to every joint keeping the steel moving smoothly in the dust. Commissioning complete. The checklists are cleared. The giant is authorized to work. Leaving the nest, the 6090 takes its first steps, instantly reshaping the ground beneath its feet. Out here, the roar of 4,500 horsepower doesn't bounce off factory walls. It rolls across the desert like thunder. The attack, the front shovel drives forward, crowding into the bank with constant force thanks to the tri-power geometry. One pass, 93 tons of ore are lifted skyward. That's a fully loaded Boeing 757 in a single scoop. The dance partner arrives. A CAT 797F, one of the largest trucks in the world, reverses the drop. The clamshell opens and gravity does the rest. 
The truck shudders under the impact. Relocation. Climbing a 10% grade is a torture test for the travel motors, but the 6090 refuses to slide back. One pass. 983 tons of ore are lifted skyward. That's a fully loaded Boeing 757 in a single scoop. The sun sets, but the work doesn't. Under the glare of stadium lights, the production war continues. From the cockpit, it's a video game with deadly consequences. The payload monitoring system weighs every scoop in real time. Durability is measured in decades. This single machine has moved 100 million tons of earth, and it's just getting started. Behind the steel are the people. It takes a small army of experts to keep the world's largest hydraulic shovel fighting. When the dust turns to soup, lesser machines bog down. The 6090 just engages more torque and chews through. Hygiene is maintenance. Blasting away tons of caked on mud prevents overheating and reveals potential cracks. Thousand tons of momentum instantly. Silence is safety. The pilots change, but the machine doesn't sleep. A hot shift change keeps the production needle moving. Durability is measured in decades. This single machine has moved 100 million tons of earth, and it's just getting started. The future is autonomous. Systems are already being tested where the operator supervises from a desk and the machine digs by itself. The scars of battle are erased. A fresh coat of armor protects the steel for the next decade of punishment. Being tested where the operator supervises from a desk and the machine digs by itself. Power doesn't mean pollution. Tier 4 final technology scrubs the exhaust, ensuring the giant breathes as cleanly as a passenger car. Behind the steel are the people. It takes a small arm of experts to keep the world's largest hydraulic shovel fighting. A silhouette that defines the skyline. A monument to human engineering against the setting sun. It began with fire. A single spark that carved the silhouette of a giant from raw iron. Forged in the heat of the arc, thousands of man-hours fused the skeleton into an unbreakable whole. Given a heart of twin diesels, 4,500 horsepower waiting to be unleashed. The Caterpillar 6090 FS. There are shovels, and then there is the king. <laughs>